You know, whenever we do the headlines here in the sports news, we talk about hitting the ground running. That's just a figure of speech. When you're talking about cross country, they literally hit the ground running. We bring in Susan Zamish now and Pat Schneider. They are the head coaches over at Stoughton Cross Country. And guys, thanks for coming in, first of all. And why don't we get into your season so far? What have the highlights been? Well, uh, so far this year, um, our team has done quite well. Uh, we've had a variety of kids medal in different races. Um, we uh, are looking uh, forward to conference coming up here soon. Uh, both of our teams, both girls and guys, are looking to uh, contend for the top of the uh, Badger South Conference. And uh, we also are hoping to uh, have a shot at getting some individuals and perhaps a team through to the state meet. You know, down in Stoughton, you guys have such great sports programs. And if we're going to compare, though, your cross-country program compared to other cross-country programs around the area, what makes yours different? Uh, that's a great question. I think that one thing that sets us apart is our strength and conditioning program that we have. We have Coach England down there that designs strength and conditioning workouts, especially for cross-country runners, that allows us to uh, be more powerful on the course. I also think we have an advantage of having uh, the head wrestling coach as one of our assistant coaches, Coach Empey, and we get a lot more wrestlers in our program than maybe some other programs, and some of those uh, wrestlers know how to compete at the top level, and that's what makes it a little bit different. I think what also makes it a little bit different is, is that you guys do some team building stuff, and you know, not, not a lot of people will necessarily equate cross country with an actual team sport, but there's a real team component that goes into it. So what are some of the team building exercises that you do? Oh, we do all sorts of stuff. I think actually we're one of the more social teams that's out there. Um, we have uh, team dinners before every meet. Um, we take kids to different locations for running. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, we went to Noah's Ark this oh, summer. Oh, we went to Noah's Ark this summer. That was good. Nice. And a favorite workout is a scavenger hunt workout uh, that the kids do together. So. Yeah, it's almost like a giant family, I think. Excellent. And so it, so much training goes into it. Definitely a very hard and physical sport. Um, but when we're talking about workouts, what are some of the more challenging workouts that your runners complete? One of the ones that we did this year that was new to our program was the 200 workout, where we gave each individual kid a split to hit for the 200 and then the recovery. And they had to do as many as they could until they could no longer hit that split. Our top varsity boy went through 18 of those 200s and wow. the top girls got through 14 of those 200s. Wow, impressive. So I think people always want to know too, if you join cross country, how many miles are you putting in in a given week? Whew, uh, a lot. Uh, it kind of depends on if you're JV or varsity. Uh, I would say probably our top varsity kids would hit between 40 and 45 miles a week at the peak. And then our JV kids are probably between 25 and 35, depending on who the kid is. So we run a lot. Lots of running, great way to stay in shape. Good luck the rest of the way, Susan and Pat. Thanks for being here. Thanks Thank so you. much. Brought to you by Conan Automotive, taking care of you by taking care of your family's car.